how to send file attachments to respondent automatically after the google form is submitted so if you are sending the file attachments to every form submitter manually one by one on their gmail account then this video is for you because here i am going to teach you whenever any new form response is received how you can automatically send any kind of file attachment on their gmail account do you also want to automate this process come with me and i will show you everything step by step now to automate this process i'll have to integrate my google forms with the gmail application and i'm going to do that with the pabli connect well it is an amazing integration and automation software and since i'm an existing user here you can see i am already logged in you can also create your free account in just a 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random the name to your workflow to your automation i have provided i have pasted the name as when google form is submitted then send file attachment to form submitters okay now i'll click on this button create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also okay so let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here according to our use case whenever any new form response is received in google forms application then automatically send a file to the form submitter on the gmail application okay so that is why i have selected both the application in this trigger and action window now the idea here is i am going to connect to these two applications one by one with the pabli connect so firstly i will select a trigger even that is new response received and then you will notice a webhook url and few set of instructions okay so firstly i am going to read these instructions carefully basically you will have to read and follow these instructions carefully okay so copy this webhook url and yes with the help of this url only we are going to build a connection and how basically we are going to use the spreadsheet which is associated with this specific form okay so i am clicking on this responses section and then i am clicking on the view in sheet okay so this is the spreadsheet and with the help of the spreadsheet only i am going to build a connection in google forms and pabli connect let me maximize it so that you can see the data very clearly so these are the columns and yes i am going to capture these three details that is the name email and phone number okay and as soon as the someone is going to fill the form i will automatically send a file on their gmail account okay so before i build a connection in these two firstly i am going to make a dummy submission by filling out this form yes i am going to fill this form with some dummy with some random details okay so assume that the name of the person is dummy user only okay now i will provide the email address something like demo@pablitudes.com all right it's looking good okay let me first correct the spelling it should be tutes now finally i will provide Provide a random name, something like nine three 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 three. Again, this is a random, a dummy number. Now I am submitting the form, and you will see the data will be added here into my spreadsheet. And now finally, I am going to send this data. How? So before that, I'll tell you what exactly you'll have to do. Click on this extension, click on add-ons, click on get add-ons, and here search for the Pabli Connect Webhook add-on first. All right so I'm searching for the same and here you can see this addon is already installed into my account so that is why I'm not going to install it but make sure if you are building this connection for the first time the very first thing you'll have to do is to install this addon and after the installation you will find the same addon here under the extension only okay so let me open this addon clicking on initial setup and here exactly we will paste the same webhook url which we have received via a pabli connect okay so i'm going to paste the same asking for the trigger column okay so before i provide any column firstly read the instructions the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to provide a column name and here you'll have to provide the final data entry column basically 
on the filling of which particular column the submissions the data should be sent to pabli connect okay so i want that whenever the new data is added and that is filled up to d column this automation should trigger okay so let me specify the same clicking on send test and you will notice that the test data sent successfully here you can notice the name email address and phone number all the details have been sent to pabli connect setup configured successfully let me close and now Now, when I will come back to my Pabli Connect dashboard, you will notice an interesting thing that a response is received, and this is the same response which we have provided at the time of form submission. Okay, so let me show you the details one by one. Here you can see the trigger column is same. Here we have the spreadsheet name, the spreadsheet ID. All right, let me show you other details also. Basically, the form submission data. All right, so here we have the phone number, the name, and the email address. Okay, so the presence of this data. data clearly shows that connection in between our google forms and pabli connect is working absolutely fine now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to fill this form the details will be automatically captured via pabli connect but for that you'll have to enable one more very important settings that is send on event okay this option will ensure that whenever the data is arriving whenever any new data is arriving the data should be sent immediately instantly to pabli connect because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so here you can notice that this option is actually tick marked that means this option is enabled okay and other than that let me tell you a one more very important thing that is whenever you are working with google sheets and google form make sure either you work in the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in at the same time i repeat multiple gmail account should not be logged in at the same time otherwise you will get an authentication error so i would suggest you to work with incognito window okay now the first step of our automation is done now i would like to send the pdf file of my notes to this particular person on his gmail id okay so again i am going to send these pdf file via gmail only so the application has already selected select the action even that is send an email okay click on connect click on add a new connection and then click on this button and then you will have to provide the access of your gmail account well i have already provided this connection multiple times so i can also go with the existing connection now if you have already built this connection in the first time you can also go with the existing connection now clicking on save and just like we have connected google forms and pabli connect now we have successfully connected gmail and pabli connect also now it is asking for the recipient email address okay so from where i'm going to provide this recipient email address all right so here we have this email address and i do need to manually copy this email address and paste it here i'm going to map this detail and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect you just need to click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay search for that specific data and this is how you can map the values now what is the meaning of mapping okay so whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay cc bcc i am leaving blank asking for the sender name so how about i write something like magnet brains okay i am writing this particular sender name email subject line so i can write uh, here you can find your notes okay or i can also write biology notes okay biology notes and i want that the name of the person should also appear so how about i map the name as well that is dummy user and one comma should be also there okay dummy user here you can okay you can find your biology notes okay so this is going to be our subject line asking for the reply to i am going to leave it blank email content type will be plain and finally from here exactly i am going to compose my content and here exactly i will provide the file attachment url okay so firstly i am going to copy the email content directly from here because i have already prepared this content into notepad so that i can save time okay and now i am going to correct the format of this particular email all right so i think it is looking good now 
all right so i have corrected the formatting and in place of this i want that the name of the person should appear just like we have mapped this data in our subject line okay so i have mapped the name here also thank you for submitting the form you can find the biology okay it should be biology notes with the attachment of this email if you have any query you can reply to this or call us at uh, this particular number thanks edutech okay and here whatever the details i have provided manually these details will remain same and whatever the details i have mapped these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time and finally here exactly i am going to attach the file url of my biology notes okay so here you can notice i have this pdf file i am going to copy the link of this pdf file okay so this is the link and in place of such type of links you can also add your google drive link as well okay so this is the same attachment let me click on this button save and send test request and you will notice that i will automatically receive this file on my email okay fingers crossed and here you can see response is received which is saying that the response result status is sent let me go back to my gmail account let me refresh and wait for that email to be arrived all right so here you can notice the email is already arrived okay the subject line is dummy user here you can find your biology notes okay hello dummy user here you can notice how the name is replaced automatically thank you for submitting the form you can find the biology notes with the attachment of this new email if you have any query you can reply to this email or call us at this number thanks edutech and here you can notice the same file let me open this file in front of you and yes it is the same file currently i can see that there is no file Name because I think I forgot to provide the file name, so you can also provide the file name. How about I provide something like Neat Biology Notes? Okay, now I am going to click on the Send Test button once again. Okay, and you will notice I will receive an email once again. I just wanted to show you how the file name will look like. All right, so another email is also arrived, and this time you can notice that we have the same file name that is Neat Biology Notes. Okay, so this is how now onwards, every time someone is going to submit your Google form, you do not have to manually send any file to your form submitter because once you will set this automation inside Pabbly Connect, you do not have to do anything manually. Okay, simply set this automation, sit back and relax because Pabbly Connect will take. care of all the task in the back end okay so whenever the form is submitted by your form submitter they will automatically receive an email on their gmail account along with the file attached and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabbly connect account i will also attach this link into my description box okay so you just need to click on that link and sign up into the pabbly connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabbly connect account that to for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabbly Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabbly.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabbly Connect and for the latest updates of Pabbly Connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals If you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video